Yo, what up guys? I thought I'd record another video. This would be just be on tips on like how to shoot properly. Um Yeah, cause a lot of people like when you're silver you don't know how to like really shoot. Like I see people when they, they shoot and move at the same time, which you don't want to do at all. And um yeah. So let's go to this aim underscore map. You can download you just search down the workshop if you really want to go to it. Then you click on play and then you go to offline with bots. And then you go to workshop and you find the map, aim underscore map. And you just start the map up. And stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little segment on how to shoot properly, how to shoot better. You're supposed to warm up at least every day. I usually play retakes. I'll leave a link to the retake servers down below and I'll give a little preview at the towards the end of this video, end of this segment. But yeah. Alright, so once you guys get in the server, you'll see a lot of bots in the server. Maybe or maybe you won't. Uh, if you want to kick all the bots, type bot underscore kick all. And this, you type this in the console, which is next to the one key. It's that little, I don't know, console key. And I'll leave this executable bots config in the description. I'll show you, I'll show in the description where to put it. So if you don't know, like, basic computer, like, program files, and you want to know where to put it, then, yeah. I would, I would recommend going to play console. Um, so basically the first 10 bullets of a AK-47, let me not pull down, they're like accurate, see how it goes up, same thing with the M4, so that goes up, so that one goes up to the left a little bit, but you just pull down and so, like the first 10 bullets are dead accurate. Um, okay, the M4 it is, why do these bots move so much and like look at that, they just non-stop move, okay, so the, the uh, M4 is two shot, kill to the head, the AK is one shot. I didn't hit him the first time. Uh, see, I'll show you again. We get that guy. I'll show you this guy. Oops, he must have took damage. Stand still. Stand still. Freaking, I give up. See, two shot. Okay. So anyway, when you shoot, you wanna do an A E D, A D A D. You know, but you wanna go like A and then tap D, and then you stop, and then you shoot. A, I mean hit D and then tap A, and then you shoot. You want to make sure you always stand still when you're shooting, but don't just stand there like a dummy like this. Just keep standing there shooting at him. You want to move with it. Where'd that guy go? Oh my god, I missed his head. You want to make sure you, sh you stop when you're shooting. What the heck? You want to make sure you come to a complete stop, and you don't want to spray long range. You want to either one tap, like this is not that longer range, you can burst that. But if they're super long range, you just want to one tap. At a time. Like you want to strafe and tap at the same time. Other than that, you can usually just, then I just, you can burst them. So, and if you want to spray, you can do the AD spray, which is just, like when they're close to you, you just tap AD and then you spray. Or you can do the classic crouch spray like that. Which everyone does nowadays, so it's kind of like... Like when I spray now, I kind of pull down even more. I mean, I kind of... When I shoot at somebody, I kind of pull down even more because I know they're going to crouch spray. Cause everybody does that nowadays, so what the heck? I missed like all my shots. And also, you want to... I play at 400 DPI at uh, 2.7 in game sense. You want to have a lower sensitivity, a uh, lower DPI, and... A low sensitivity if you want to be dead accurate. You don't want to have 6,000 DPI, 300, uh, three, six cents in game. Like, you want to be accurate. Maybe start off like 800 since uh, 800 DPI at first, and then just work your way down. Most pros play at 400 or 800. They like all play low a thousand, below a thousand. So yeah, you take that into mind. Like, if you look up any pro player, they all play like a low under a thousand. I'm pretty sure all pro players. All invite players. Swag plays 400. Everybody plays 400. Uh, swag for my by power, that is. So now I'm going to take you guys onto the retake servers. And you guys can check out the retake servers. I'll leave the IPs to them in the description. It's really like a cool warm-up server. All you do is like retake a site. And retaking is basically, you will start CT. And um, you'll try to take A from the enemies. Which will be like four enemies. And those are real people. It's like an actual server. Or you can start T side. Plant the bomb and defend the bomb from the other team. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the next. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this 
little how to shoot properly and I'm gonna show you guys the retake circle which I do to warm up every day I do this for about five minutes just to get my warm I mean my aim just a little warmed up and then I play retakes so yeah hope you guys enjoy this all right so this is basically it okay so I'm on CT right now it says retake B four T's five CT that's usually how it is max people four T's five CT's and you basically have to try to retake the site. So you spawn with a gun and everything. You basically have to retry to retake the site from the enemies. And I just failed. But I hope you guys get the concept. I'll play one more. Um, a lot of people on here, like you can see, meet pros on here, like uh, Area 51, a couple people from Area 51, a person from Elevate plays on here. So you spawn with all, you spawn with random nades. Sometimes you don't spawn with nades at all. And oh my God, lag! What the heck? Is that rubber bandaid for you guys? I think I got, I think I got stuck on a nade. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So basically, you have to retake the site from the T's, and once you retake, any clutch it. Once you retake, you have to defuse the bomb like that guy is right there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm getting wrecked, obviously. I got 144 ping. What the heck? That's why I'm lagging. This is a, this is a Texas server too. Hmm. I must be downloading something or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video clip. Let's try to get... Let's see if I can quickly take this. Where'd he go? Oh, he's dead. Alright, I'll just defuse the bomb and end it at the defuse. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, another quick tip in console, you can type quit, and it'll close out of the whole game. Oh, let me play at the bottom, and then I'll leave. Um, you could type quit, it'll quit out of the whole game. Or you can just type disconnect, and it'll make you leave. So, I hope you guys enjoy the game. Oh, yeah, also, you just seen, when you win the round, you switch sides to T side. So, you have to win to switch to T. And if you keep losing, you're on CT, you have to keep trying to retake the bomb. And defuse the bomb. The object is to defuse the bomb, retake site. So it's like it's actually really good practice because if you're playing CT and you need like they plant the bomb at B and you're playing A, so you have to go to B and then defuse the bomb. And same thing with if you plant the bomb at B, whole other teams at A, they come in the site. You have to find a hiding spot, hide, or try to quickly push up and hide somewhere and then get them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this this video series. I don't know what I'll call it. How to properly aim plus retakes, I guess. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, like, like if you're enjoying the videos I'm doing. If you're not, then whatever, unsubscribe. This is what I'm going to be doing. I don't like Minecraft anymore, so I haven't been playing it. But, I say but a lot, don't I? See ya.